What's up guys, we are back with another detailing video and today I'm gonna do a quick little segment on how to polish small areas. You can either do it by hand or with a little tool that I've featured in one of my previous videos called the Rupes Hybrid Nano. So let's take a look at that. I'll show you the areas on this Nissan GTR that we're gonna correct. We've already done a full paint correction, but during the extra clay bar process of trying to remove some contaminants in front of the headlights on this car, we wanted to go back with it and just make sure that it was perfect because this is getting a front clear wall. You can see the hood's already sitting here wrapped. So just last minute quick, I stopped by to check on the progress and I wanna correct this area. So I figured I'd bring you guys along, show you what I use to kind of get in the little intricate areas and uh, hope you guys enjoy. You guys have seen me feature this before, but what we're gonna be using today is the little Rupes Hybrid Nano. So it's a battery operated tool. It's more of a specialist polisher. Uh, most people aren't going to have this, but uh, it is a long neck. It is a dual action, so it spins this way and it also spins like that. Uh, long neck so it can extend out and get into some tighter areas. And the best part is it's battery operated. So I have another battery right there if we uh, run out of juice, but we're only doing a small little area. So we're gonna hit it with a microfiber pad because that's what I was using to correct the car. These are Lake Country microfiber cutting pads. We'll get in focus, there we go. Uh, they work really well. And then we have some little foam pads here if we need to finish polish out. But what we're gonna be using, Jescar correcting compound. This is Menzerna USA, but labeled Jescar. Here, I uh, have the finishing polish in case we need it as well, but uh, I don't know if we'll need it. Uh, it should be able to kind of get what I can out with this. This stuff finishes out really well. So between the microfiber pad and the correcting compound, we should be able to, to finish pretty well. So let's get over the car and uh, show you what we're talking about. This is the area that we were gonna touch up. There was some little extra stuff back in here that we pulled out and I wanna go through with the hybrid tool. And a lot of people have questions, you know, hey, what do you do for these areas? And some people with a three inch machine, you know, you can get up in there, but we're gonna tape off the headlights here and we're gonna use the little one inch pad and go through right here and a little up the side. It's really a specialty tool. Again, most people aren't going to have it, but it's designed for intricate areas like this. So tape, well, I use kamikaze tape. It's yellow tape. I'll show you here in a second. You'll see it, but I really like it. I was turned on to it from Matt uh, Mormon at Obsessed Garage. Uh, once I used that tape, uh, I was kind of sold on it. I used to always use just Scotch painter's tape, uh, kind of pricey, but it, the problem with it was it didn't seem to want to stick very well when it got wet, and it also had issues conforming and, and turning. You know, this, this kamikaze tape comes in three different sizes. It comes in like a quarter inch, you know, half inch, and then like a one inch size, and it's so malleable. It's almost like a uh, vinyl and pinstriping tape almost. So. I've grown to love it. It's like $4 a roll, kind of pricey, but once you use it, I promise, you kind of won't use any other tape to tape stuff up. It sticks really well, it's really thin, very malleable, can conform very, very well. So it just holds up. You use a lot of tape when you're paint correcting, so get used to getting good tape. I promise it'll be worth it. Here's the tape I'm talking about. Uh, just again, yellow tape. You can get it at Esoteric Car Care, I believe, has it, but uh, go buy a bunch of it you'll use plenty of it. I mean, you'll use probably a full roll uh, depending on the type of vehicle. If it's a truck, a bigger car, lots of emblems, lots of plastic, you wanna tape all that off. So we're gonna go ahead, tape up the headlights at the bottom there. So, you know, I'm pretty good with finessing around it, but you just wanna take extra precautions, especially in this tight of an area. Now let's say you guys don't have access to the hybrid tool because it is 
unfortunately fairly expensive and I understand it's a specialty tool. So what can you use to kind of get into those intricate places without a fancy tool? Well, if you have a three inch buffer, you can try to get in there, but sometimes the corners aren't gonna get in there. I have a polish removal towel here, but you can also use this with like a one-step polish. I usually use a one-step polish on the towel with my finger and a kind of hand polish, sometimes around emblems uh, and whatnot. So you can kind of use that as a last resort. Again, if you're doing a lot of this kind of stuff, I recommend you invest in the specialized tool and machine. But if you're in a pinch, this trick will do as well. Not much for you guys to see, but it is all polished out. Well guys, that about wraps up this video. Little bit of a shorter video, but I did want to kind of film this. Hopefully you guys are able to kind of see how that's done. I'm sure at some point one of you were wondering, again, you know, if you don't have the machine, uh, you can hand polish like that with a towel. I, I don't recommend that. I recommend getting the proper tools, but I understand, you know, that tool is expensive and, you know, some people have a budget, so I get it. And if you don't do this every day or you don't do this a lot, it's, you know, doesn't, it, it doesn't make sense. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I got the level one gloss enhancement package from Detail Lab. If you don't follow me, you can follow Detail Lab on Instagram and social media at detail.lab. We're on Facebook, The Detail Lab, and uh, Shane's gonna go ahead and finish wrapping the front of the car. I uh, hope you guys like this video. Click that red subscribe button. Uh, you can follow my personal account, at Troy Sowers, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.